Hello, welcome back. This is Apigrotus here with my let's play of Yoshi's Story to the Nintendo 64. In the last episode, we completed the blog spoiler in the cave, and in this episode, we shall take on the summit and cloud cruising. Because that's the only level we have left. Dun dun dun. And I think we shall go with Pink Yoshi. We haven't gone with him for quite a while. So, we'll go with him. Also, I have no idea how to get all the medals on this level or any other level apart from this level. But look at that, two coins. What do you have to say? Ride the snakes. Up and down, left and right. Jump on the snake to change his flight. But yeah, we're basically going on those. And that's the entire gimmick of this level, pretty much. And that's one way to kill off the uh, pink Yoshi. I did not meant to do that. Oh well, I think yellow shall be going. That was quite awkward. But yeah, uh, you're supposed to follow on this guy and... Try to follow the coin pattern. And what the hell is this? What the hell just happened? I have no words for that. I have never seen it before either, so... Also, I'm greedy, that's why. I'm going after these coins, I mean. But yeah, I barely remember this level at all. Which you probably can tell. Also, you're supposed to go up here, so keep that in mind. That's basically this level. Go up, 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 up. Which is also why it's called Summit, because, well, you're high up and... Shut up! That's why. No, but really, uh, since it's a summit and all, it means we're down on the mountain and we're going up on the mountain and... Yeah. But this guy tells us to go up. So up we shall go then. Also, this place is quite annoying. Or rather, the entire level is annoying. It's my least favorite level in the entire game. Okay, that's not true because the fish level is absolutely worse. But this is one of the more horrible levels. Also, you don't really have to switch them like that. You can go up and down like I did. It's all up to you though, how you want to do it. But if you're going after fruit, then, well... You're probably going to want to go with uh, the different ones of these. And if you're really skillful, you can actually climb it up like this very skillfully. Just like that. Just like the game apparently showcased there. Don't really have much to say to this because all we do really is jump on them, they go up, we jump on them again, they go the other way. Also, I'm super happy! And this is a sh huge amount of coins. And my greed tells me to collect them all. Uh, 
And just because of that, we now fall down to this guy. I guess that's alright in the end. But yeah, we we got our six first melons. Sadly, I have no idea where the other melons are. So this is going to be the most awkward episode ever, I believe. The next level is a lot more easier to collect all the hearts and melons on. Now we have two different ways to go as well. Apparently coins. I do think if we fall down here that we'll die though, so... Um, don't fall down and... Be careful. Also, I believe heart. Yes. I also get melon. Nope. Coins. Maybe the developers have been nice enough not to put the melons on the clouds. Well, so much about that. Or for that, rather. That's one fruit down, that's one fruit down. Not really sure where to go, though. Man, I, I want to go down. And I mean but, not in what I said. There we go, shy guy die, shy guy die. Shy guy die. I think this is basically suicide though. It could have basically been suicide. But look at that, the snake is back. Let's see how far down this goes, shall we? That should be enough. Now we can jump like this. And it will go right forward. I'll just jump down here. Okay, that's pretty much it then. When I was younger, this level was pretty hard though. Uh, keeping uh, the passage surviving like that. And if you remember all the fishes, this is basically the same, but with shy guys and regular fruit. Also, none of these egg eggs have uh, melons. Sadly. So, what do you have to say? Ride the dragon! This dragon looks scary, but he likes you and you can fly. Alright. Now I remember why I remember. Never mind that, because that made no sense and it will make no sense. Look at that, of course. Okay. Oh, I see. It's up on the clouds and more coins. Bees? What the hell? What the hell is up with these bees anyway? What's your bees wax? Also, I believe every cloud here got coins like this. So, if you want to extend your greed, well, here's your place. Apparently not in this cloud, though. Okay, I was wrong about that. Okay. Not really sure what the point with all this is. I know the bees is for collecting eggs. Oh, I see. Heart. Well, then I know where the second heart is, at least. 
didn't even plan on taking it. But yeah, this dragon, it will be a red one on uh, the absolute worst level in the game. Not sure why I did that. But, yeah. Ouch. That's quite mean of you, shy guy. Also clouds. Not sure what this leads me though. It leads me to the third Miss Warp. A white shy guy, which I gladly take. A Miss Warp, like I said, which I will activate. A switch that I almost missed because I was stupid. A bunch of clouds, apparently. And what? Oh, a melon. Wonderful. Okay, those sounds are for these platforms, by the way. Mostly. But I'm guessing this is where most of the melons are in this level. And apparently hard. Please don't run out of time. There we go, we now have most of the melons. Oh. Now this place was apparently safe. Fair enough. And so was this cloud with the heart. I hope I don't fall into a pit doing this. Thank you, game. Also, I need more eggs. So we'll do this take me then. It takes me what I believe is back to the beginning. Yes. But that's alright. Oh, do not stand on the head by the way, because there's a slight chance you'll die of falling down then. Also, shy guys, I don't care about you. I can duck from you. I can also hit you, but... That's something I'll try to avoid. But yeah, like I said, this uh, dragon, uh, there's a red one on the worst level in the entire game. And with worst, I mean hardest. Which basically is uh, this traveling up and down through lava. You have to jump to survive. And if you fail, well, screw sucks to be you, pretty much. Because you'll instantly die. That's basically the whole thing with Lala anyway. Also fucking bees, stop hitting me. ARE YOU FUCKING KIDDING ME?! Yeah, I'm dead. Not really sure how the hell this happened. But it did, alright. The game pushed me through the dragon. Literally, it pushed me through the dragon. Well, green, your time to shine and that's 200 points lost. And four more eggs and sadly, no more shy guy. So sad. But yeah, I'm going up to this pipe again because, well, I need health. Oh well, uh, I'll see you back where I died pretty much. Actually, let me check if how many hearts I have first. I have as many as three hearts. But like I said, I'll see you back where I died, so see you soon.
Oh, uh, I'm back by the way. And I activated a miss warp without realizing it. Or rather, I wasn't really thinking at the same time. But this is basically all the medals I found. I lack seven. Now, I do have a guess where the seventh could be. Or rather, the seven remaining melons. So I am going to go look for them. It's probably one of those melon challenges. So I am going back to the beginning of the game, or rather the level, to see if it's somewhere around there. Because I don't th The only problem is, where the hell could it be? And I just realized where it could be now when I think about it. It's actually pretty obvious when you think about it. Also, Shy Guy... No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'll grab him later instead. It's probably nearby... Where... Uh, this guy is. The red guys, I mean. Jump over here? Yes, I can. And there we go. I thought I would get full health, but I guess not. So, let us climb up here then. Until we reach some kind of war pipe. That will bring us to... Uh, uh, the wonderful place of melons. Simply spoken. Yeah, I'm not going to switch, guys. And if I don't find the uh, seven lettuce melons, I'll simply just eat seven regular fruits. Because, well, can and. It is it a secret. That far I know. So this one indicates on hype, but the thing is we can travel even higher, so apparently we can't travel higher than this. So if we fall down here, we'll see where we'll end up, pretty much. Okay, it wasn't as the, at the same location as I thought it was at, sadly. So, we'll just have to go look for it then, I guess. There we go. You are supposed to travel to this location, my friend. I could kind of walk up here. Yeah, I could. Yeah, there isn't much to that. Than that. So... I have been at the highest location, so there's no need for me to go there either. Hmm, but I don't think I've been around up here. So... nothing. Well, that kind of sucks. Hmm. There seems to be something nearby, though. Screw you, 
guys. We'll just feed on bananas then. And look at that, we have a heart. Wonderful. Come on now, shy guys. Or not. Hey, banana! Get over here! Banana! There we go. All banana. Sadly, we could not find the last seven melons, but hey. What are we gonna to do about it? Also, I have completely forgotten about that this level have a boss, so... Yay! 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 Cloud and candy. Slurp it, slurp! I'm so sweet! You can't lick me! Burp! Yeah, I'm not going to burp. But. Here goes the easiest boss in uh, Yoshi's history, I guess. It's a giant popcorn, and. You basically eat a giant popcorn. Very similar to one of the bosses from uh, Yoshi's Island. That's all I can say about it, really. And this episode turned out to be longer than I thought. But yeah. Sadly, we're two Yoshis short. And we only got 4,500 points. But we are pretty close to a new record anyway, so it's alright. As the Yoshis were walking, they found a trail of clouds that led to the sky. The Yoshis were afraid of falling, but they walked on the clouds anyway. Up in the sky, they met Cloud and Candy, who was mean, but tasted sweet. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier, 